That's right. Even pedals need service every once in a while. Hey folks, we are back with another video. Today we are going to be servicing Shimano SPD pedals. In this case, they are the M9100 version, I believe. Eh, hard to tell, maybe 9000, they're all scratched up. So, not a hard job, but without a doubt, probably the most neglected service out there for any bike part, right? Nobody thinks about servicing these. In fact, most people I know don't even know you can service them. And uh, yeah, they definitely can use service. There are bearings inside, right? That need to be greased every once in a while. So that's what we will be going over in this video. All right, next up, let's go over the tools required to get this job done. As for tools, we are going to need an eight millimeter Allen or a pedal wrench, just like this one, very handy. A 15 millimeter wrench with a 15 millimeters crow foot, a eight millimeter wrench and a seven millimeter wrench. Now what comes in handy, is a flat spatula, right? If you have one, you definitely want to use one of these. Uh, it'll come in handy. A magnetic tip or a magnet or a magnetic tip driver uh, just to pull out bearings essentially so you don't uh, lose them. And any kind of hub grease, waterproof grease. Here I have some Shimano Premium grease. I actually bought this by mistake. Well, now I got a reason to use it. And that's pretty much it for the tools, all right? Uh, next up, let's take apart a pedal. So as you know, we have two pedals, a left one and a right one, right? Uh, they're identical outside of threads. They turn in different directions. So I'm not gonna do both pedals over here, but ultimately I will be doing one pedal and when servicing the other pedal, the spinning directions will be the opposite, all right? So first we're gonna start off with uh, the left, right? On the pedal it should say it left or just look at the arrows, um, the arrows to lock it or close it up. Opposite is to open it up, right? So the first thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to open up the pedal. Now I'm going to say that we're not going to tear apart the entire pedal. This one in particular is relatively new and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this entire mechanism here. What we're going to do is re-grease the inside of the axle and the bearings. That should happen regularly, right? I mean, not like every 10 hours, but hey, at least I'd say once a year. Why not, if not twice a year, depending on how much you ride, all right? So first we're gonna need the 15 millimeter wrench, okay? And basically in this case, to close it up, it's clockwise on the left side. On the right side, it'll be counterclockwise. To open it up, it is uh, counterclockwise, right? So there we go. So we're gonna take this guy. And we are going to open them up. If you get stiff, just use the wrench. Uh, I'm positive this one's never been serviced. All right. There we go. Ta-da! Nice and black. Juicy. Mmm. Delicious. Great party. So, uh, yeah, to say the least, uh, that's a pretty dark colored grease there. So I'm positive it hasn't been serviced in a while. Next, we will clean out uh, all the grease, okay? For that, you're gonna need some paper towel. And we're gonna try and get rid of all that old grease. Okay. As you can see, we got bearings on the inside and there's also bearings inside this part. So, put that on the side for now. Now this is where that spatula comes in handy. If you wanna clean all the old grease from the inside here, you could take a spatula, put it in there. Well, spatula, a pick, spatula type pick, I should say. And then you can sort of spin it around, right? Okay, it's not a long job, but again, it's a very, very neglected job. So, all right. And I should do it one last time. Yep, that's good. Put that guy on the side for now, all right? Next up, we are going to dismantle this entire axle. Let the camera cool down for a sec. Next, we have two bolts at the tip, right? And one's a locking bolt and the other one is a set bolt, right? 
the inner one is an eight millimeter that sets the tension onto the bearings. And the outer one is a seven millimeter that locks uh, the bearing bolt in place, okay? So first we're gonna start off with the seven millimeter. Now, this is the left pedal, right? We are also gonna need the eight millimeter for the back to hold on to it, because it's gonna be pretty stiff. So since this is the left pedal, we are gonna loosen this up counterclockwise. Now, when doing the right pedal, it's gonna be the opposite. It loosens up clockwise, it's backwards, right? It's not lefty-loosey for the right pedal. So, we're gonna take this guy out. Seven millimeter, and leave him in order right there, okay? Next, we're gonna take the eight millimeter, hold this straight up. In fact, you should be able to do it by hand. Okay. Now take this guy out. Oh. Come on. So on one side he's flat, but on the other side, he acts as a race for the bearings. Okay. So now we have a whole bunch of bearings. That's where that magnetic tip comes in. Grab them all up. All right, just put them all on the side. Should be 11 bearings on each side. That one might have fallen out of the back. Not sure, maybe it fell out of the top. I don't remember, I gotta count them, right? So then we're gonna take off this guy, okay? So there's a deeper side and a shallower side. The shallower side stays up, the deeper side goes in. So then I'll put this guy down. Just drop our bearings down here. Grab our screwdriver and grab the rest of these bearings. I'll put these guys over here all nice and juicy. Looks tasty. Okay. So then, down here, if you notice, well, we'll take them out later. Then we have a spacer. Okay. And then we have, uh, well, I don't know if considered a bushing, but ultimately we have our bolt that screws it all in. Now, two things. One, there's a very sensitive seal over here. It's supposed to act like a quad seal. These things are very cheap. Be very careful with it. Don't tear it. Okay. We're going to clean that very carefully. It's the only part of this that sort of sucks. Okay. So that's just about everything. Now we could take out this plastic thing over here. It's a plastic cap. Just pull it straight out. If it doesn't want to pull, if it doesn't want to pull straight out. Great. Now my thing's stuck. Then just turn them a bit and pull them might come out easier if you turn them as opposed to pulling. In fact, technically it doesn't screw in there. There we go. And you pull them straight out. Okay. And he goes over here. All right. And that is our spindle. 100% clean now. And we will put this on the side, okay? Next, we will clean these guys here. Okay, first thing, we are gonna start with this seal. Now, again, this is a very delicate seal. Do not tear it. Do your hardest to not tear it, okay? What you might wanna do is put it on a larger round surface, just like that, and just clean the outside. And as you're rubbing them on the surface, it's cleaning the inside to a certain extent. But again, this is just, they, I don't know, it's just not exactly a great seal. I'm sure they could have come up with something a little bit more solid than this. Because this is what literally stops water from going inside. Okay, boy, man, that's my stomach. I'm hungry. Whew. Okay, so... Let's try and clean up the inside a little bit more, but be very careful. Again, do not tear him up or split him or just damage him in any way. Okay, that's looking clean. So now we're gonna clean our bolt 
It's really is a bolt. Okay. Although technically, I guess he acts like a bushing. No, he doesn't. It's not a bushing. If it was a bushing, it would be free all the way around, both inside and outside. Okay. Clean this guy out. Now, this guy also has a seal, but we don't have to take him out. Well, a split ring, but we don't have to take him out. Just leave him in there. Just make sure he's all clean. And he is clean. Now we will clean our spacer. Oop, there's that split ring that I was talking about, see? So, there's a split ring over here. Just put him in, just like that. Actually, next we're doing the washer. Okay, clean the insides. Standard cleaning here. Get a new rag since that one's all dirty. Okay. Done. Clean our bearing housing. Clean the races real well. That's where the bearings sit. Okay. Do it deeper side. Oh, it's still dirt in there. All right, put that inside. Clean this little plastic cap. Wait a minute, get in there. Well, for crying a lot. Okay. Yep, now we're cleaning our nuts. That's right. Every once in a while, you got to clean your nuts. All right. Nuts are clean. Next, we clean our balls. Now, easy way to clean it is just rub it. Just wash the old stick. There we go. Rub it into the material that it's on. I mean, you could put them in alcohol if you want, but you don't need to. Okay. So as mentioned, there should be 11 per side. Okay. Just like that. And do the same to these guys here. Just roll them around on the material. And the material will clean them more than enough. See? You're right. All parts are clean. Let's assemble everything. So, first thing we're going to do is... We're going to take a little bit of grease, put on the axle, and put a thin film on it. Okay? Then, we are going to take, we're going to take our seal, put that first right around here, okay? Then I'm gonna take a little bit of grease, put it inside here, just a little bit, not much. Don't need to go crazy, okay? Oops, I have to do the other side, actually. And just like that, rub them around. Now, put them in, and the seal sits in that bushing, just like that, right? So, next, I'm going to take this little guy, this little cap over here, and put him on the end, just like that. All right? Then we're going to take our spacer and put our spacer in here. Okay? Now, we're going to use our spacer as a guide to install the first set of bearings. All right? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little bit of grease around the end, end, edge of the spacer. All right? Just like that. And this is so the bearings have somewhere to stick to while I'm putting them in. Okay. So, one. Eleven bearings on each side. Two. 
three. Second thought it wasn't film four, five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight. It's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven, yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Very gentle with it. Okay. Nearly there. Okay. So then. The housing, the bearing housing. There's a there's a race that's deeper than the other one. The deeper race goes in first, right? So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this guy on top just like that and then use our fingers to keep everything together and slowly lift up the base millimeter at a time until you'll see the bearings all pop. And there you go. They just all popped in, right? Then bring it down this way. And this way the bearings will sit in both races, the race on the bolt and the race in the uh, housing. All right. Next we will do the bearings on top. For the top bearings, we will again put a little bit of grease onto the race so the bearings have worse, somewhere to stick when we sit them in there. Spread it around a little bit, okay. Thumb now. Grab the bearings and sit them inside. Oh man, tell me that one fell from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, but from the top, must stuck on my finger without realizing it. Okay, three, one, four, five. Oop, here I'm tackling three in a row. Seven, eight. Let's make life easier here. Nine, ten, and eleven. Sink them in. All right. So now we take our nut that has a race on half the side with curved side, and the curved side goes down. Now this is the left spindle, so it's righty tighty. If it was the right spindle. It would be lefty tidy. Okay. Let's take this guy, let's bring him down. Watch the bearings don't pop out or stick to you while doing that. Put this hand, give myself a little bit more leverage. Okay. Let's come down. All right, so we want to screw him down and make sure he spins without being grindy, All right? So we're going to take our eight millimeter. So what we're doing here is putting tension on the bearings to make sure they're sitting on the races, but we don't want them too tight in there, right? We want them tight enough where they don't move around. There's no play, but not too tight. Like right now, could you hear it? It's too tight. I can feel the grinding, right? So it's way too tight right now. So what I do now is pull it out just a little bit. Boom. So now I get play with just a little bit of grinding. Let's loosen it a little bit more. There. Now it's free, no grinding whatsoever. Now what we're going to do is move it sideways, see if it moves laterally. If it doesn't, then you're good. So it's a balance between no lateral movement and no grinding. So you want smooth spinning basically, right? And you could test it a little bit more again. See that little bit? Now it's all grindy. So I want to take it out again. Now it's all smooth, no play. We're good. Okay. Now we're going to put our locking bolt. And again, this one's going to be righty tighty on the right spindle 
it's going to be lefty tighty. Getting is always tough on this one. Okay. So, again, so basically I tightened this guy and he tightened him a little bit more than I wanted, right? So it's grindy again. Now I got to loosen them. So I take this guy, the 8 millimeter, and back him out. I'm going to back him out a little bit more. Back them out just a tad more. There we go. Now he feels smooth. Okay. In fact, I might just do a little bit more. Just one little tad. A couple of hairs. Oops. Eight millimeter. Perfect. No movement whatsoever, and nice and smooth, okay? Now what we're gonna do is grab our eight millimeter to keep them in place, and our seven millimeter, oh, this is gonna be hard. Uh, cone wrench would have been better right now, to be honest, considering the way I'm situated. Come on, dummy, get in there. And basically, I'm not gonna be able to do them like this. Anyway, point B, he's in there pretty good. I was going to just give him one more tight turn, but I need to use my body here. Maybe. It was just like that, right? So basically, I'm turning this guy outwards, putting pressure outwards, counterclockwise, and the outside one clockwise. And it's going to lock them together. All right? There we go. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Super, super, super smooth. So, and no play whatsoever. Now these guys are locked, right? So now I'm going to take grease. I'm going to pull up my spacer. I'm going to fill up the hole inside. Okay. Squish that in there. Then we're going to fill up this side. Just like that. Just fill them up. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of grease at the base. All right. Not much grease. Don't kill it in there with grease. Just put a little bit. Now we're going to take this guy, we're going to put him back in. Screw him on. It's tight. We have our 15 millimeter. Okay. And now we need to torque him down to 10 newton meters. Just happens to be a 10 newton meters. Oops. Okay. Oh, it's hard by hand. There we go. 10.4, good enough for me. Let's test them. Oh yeah, no play, nice and tight, super smooth, fresh grease. We are good. We have a freshly serviced pedal. Now all I need to do is the right one, all right? So again, you don't need to do this too often, but you should do it about once a year. The big thing is the seal, making sure that the seal hasn't gone bad and water goes inside, basically. These seals are cheap, I don't like them. I wish they came up with a different solution. That was better. So, but it is what it is. There's our SPD pedals. Very similar across the Shimano line. Um, this just happens to be either 9,000 or 9,100. I don't remember, right? But it works for just about all their, for quite a bit of their pedals. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them. All right. If you like the video, press like. If you dislike the video, don't press dislike. If you have, if you want, if uh, subscribe, actually, if you want to see more videos, uh, click the bell. Bing. If you want to get notified when a video comes out. All right. Until then, well, feel free to share the video with others out there because, I mean, this is something that most people don't realize that needs to get done. All pedals, basically, well, most pedals that you can service, right? Whether it's flats, SPD, so on and so forth. So, um, again, looking forward to making the next video. Got more to come. All right. Take care. Have a great day.